nice Monday evening recovered from last weekend good times I think I'm gonna do a blend of my beers here picked up a couple of kegs from my buddy Kevin from out of order arcades up in uh, Auburn um, let's see what do we got here we got device curious haze Northeast style IPA 7% I'm gonna do a blended pour Pour about half of that in my awesome slice glass I'll let that foam settle for a little bit try to figure out what stickers I think I might go ahead and put the four slice stickers I have up let's see here we got nuclear green matter that was a triple IPA hazy and then kaleidoscope visions uh, I think that might have been a single IPA hazy cloud world um, that might have been a double IPA hazy and then uh, original juice you have to put that one up here's a throwback sticker I found this one buried uh, Brofest 2 reunited it feels so good <laughs> my buddy uh, 34k did all the artwork for this came out awesome so that was uh, June 3rd and 4th, 2016. That was almost four years ago. Wow. Because here we are almost in the middle of May. And then I wasn't able to make it the next year to Brofest 3. And then the following year after that, my buddy Leo uh, made these. They changed names to Sneak Fest instead of Brofest. And... I think he's done two or three of the sneak fest, but yeah, he did these awesome uh, bottle openers, so super cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and pour this. Uh, so that was Device Curious Haze uh, IPA, and this one is uh, Crooked Lane One Two Punch. They're out of Auburn, right up the road from uh, Out of Order Arcades. Out of Order Arcade. The arcade and beer bar. I need to let the foam settle on that, I think, a little bit. I'm always turning down the uh, CO2 feed, and it still comes out really foamy. Okay, while I settle, let that settle, I think I'm going to go ahead and put my stickers on. Why not? Sounds good. Okay, so this one, I'm going to put it down here. That looks like a good spot. Perfect 2. Oops. work what do we got here well oh nice original juice slice is awesome they uh, a lot of their can releases they'll give out free stickers on the release day so that's pretty awesome very cool of them because I love me some stickers so that's kaleidoscope visions oh a hazy double IPA and I think original juice is a single IPA I don't remember if Cloud World's a single or double IPA. And then 
we have nuclear green matter that was a triple IPA nice all right this sucker's getting filled up another 20 or 30 stickers this this will be filled up on the front <laughs> sweet perfect timing the foam decided to kick down on the glass <sighs> yeah I need to get to uh, I got some posters some new posters I need to hang up. That sounds like a good plan right now. <sighs> mm, tasty. Okay. Yeah, finally got my whack off marquee installed to its uh, light box that I made. I made a bunch of these custom light boxes to fit the whack off, wacko slash whack off marquees. So finally got around to that. Test out the lighting here. So I even have a uh, remote control here, turn it on. And then we got different brightness settings. See 25%, 50%, 100%. I can adjust, custom adjust the brightness. And then there's even some modes here. Get all crazy flashing. I can change the speed. Is that like a slow strobe? Whoa, that was kind of freaky. I think I just like the regular 50 or 100% brightness, depending on the lighting in here. 25, 50, 100. Ooh. There's 100. That's really bright. 25 to 50. Looks pretty nice. I do like it. If I do say so myself. Looking good. Finally got around to framing my awesome custom uh, poster made by Psycho. Uh, throwback to Hoffman, Hoffman Bikes. Um, even says uh, Gak on the hub there. And then he says, uh, thank you Gak for making BMX Burly. Love Psycho. And it's uh, number one of 43, I guess. And then we got my, I won this in a raffle for a fundraiser. Um, unfortunately, they didn't say that it was scanned on an 11 by 17. <laughs> I thought it was a full size uh, scale one to one of the play field for Star Wars episode one on the pin 2000 setup. And kind of hard to make out there, but there is the autograph of the designer on that which I believe that is original, the autograph. Working my way up here, a um, couple posters that are not in there yet. I don't have them for them yet, but working my way around here. We got uh, Nat San Diego, the XY challenge. Um, that was at California Extreme last year. Grinkfest three, Grinkfest four, Grinkfest 5, Grinkfest 6. I'm hoping uh, we did some group photos for Grinkfest 1 and 2. That's what I'm going to plan on putting up there on those first two. So it'll be Grinkfest 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then number 7 here is what I'm going to be putting up in a moment. And then we just have uh, placeholders for more. Um, I can have 12 on that wall. And then over here... Got some cool ones, so the uh, Ready Player One from uh, Slick Nick that he sent me, that's pretty awesome. Hang Out LA, just from a couple months ago, March 7th. Um, and then there's the uh, Pong Championship, 
Uh, next to that is the Protohype tournament I helped put on back in 2016. Um, that was a lot of fun. I actually created the 3D model for that exploded view of the joystick assembly. So that was fun doing for sure. Teamed up with my buddy Andrew, 34K. We're always teaming up on these projects, so love him. He does awesome work. So there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that last poster up, I think. Green Fest 7. <sighs> Gotta take a drink before putting up my last poster. Brings a tear to my eye. Good times. <sighs> mm. Have some tasty beer. Okay. So, need to put this poster up. Grinkfest 7. That was the last year's Grinkfest. I can get it to hook on here, right? Nope. Come on. Okay, there we go. Got it there. Whew! That was a lot of work. Had to take another uh, drink here. Yep, that was a good time. Definitely good times. Just like last weekend when I uh, joined my buddies. Jacob and the Kong Club group on uh, Facebook for a live Zoom hangout where we shared some beers, talked some games. So yeah, hammered back both these beers that night. So, whoa, losing my balance here up on the ladder. Wait, oh, you again. Always, always, always sneaking up on me. You gotta be careful. I'm gonna fall off this ladder and keep scaring me like that. I don't know if I can keep my balance here. So um, I'm actually wearing the Kong Club CAX from 2018, uh, where I helped uh, the Kong got the Kong Club, uh, where we hosted a Donkey Kong related game tournament, where it was Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Junior, DK3. I think we had D2K and Donkey Kong Remix maybe. Uh, we had a bunch of games, so it, it was a lot of fun. So anyways, um, last weekend, it's Monday night right now, by the way, and I'm Gak, and this is Arts and Craft with Gak, where I like to pair up a tasty beverage with uh, various art projects or just playing games, mostly what I've been doing lately. So, uh, but yeah, so we had, uh, uh, Jacob had sent me this beer uh, about a week and a half ago. Um, he got it from his local brewery, uh, Level Beer. And it's called Five Pound Hammer. Uh, I believe it's a single IPA hazy. And then I sent him one of mine local um, from Slice called Cloud World Hazy IPA. It's also a single IPA. So it's uh, not Donkey Kong, but Mario themed, you know, from I think Super Mario Brothers, like on the Nintendo 64, that kind of stuff. So yeah, excellent beers. Definitely had a great time with those guys uh, Saturday night. Wound up uh, throwing back a few more beers later on. <laughs> a little rough Sunday morning, yesterday morning. So, <laughs> but yeah, uh, good time. So, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and cut to that video. Um, I'll kind of uh, edit it down because we were on there for a good hour and a half or so, and then uh, and then I played some Donkey Kong after to go ahead and uh, commemorate to go with the beer and the hangout and stuff. So, good times. So again, it's a level beer, five pound hammer. And then we had some Cloud World by Slice uh, with the Kong Club, Saturday night hangout. Why not? Cool. Okay. So this is my Slice glass. Um, so, all right, I'm gonna try not to fall off this ladder here. Cheers, everyone. Woo! Yeah, I love all you posters. So 
so awesome to be able to look back on them all and remember the good times. Looking forward to some more in the future. Yep. Woo! Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Jacob, in my basement, like my actual arcade is probably 35 games, and then I probably got 50 more. Yeah, uh, Jacob, in my basement, like my actual arcade is probably 35 games, and then I probably got 50 more. Eight to the comp, so. Uh, hey, Brent, oh. wonderful human being in the entire world close buddy of mine that I know from arcade events of the past, Mr. Chris Gack is here in the chat. We love you, Chris. Up, guys? Everybody say hi to Chris Gack. He's, uh, Chris, just let us know what part of California you're calling from. And Can you uh, hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, Chris, just let us know what part of California you're calling can, from. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear okay. you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm in Northern California near Sacramento. Uh, Rockland is the actual town I live in. So about a half hour drive from the capital of Sacramento, the downtown capital, but looking forward to trying my beer out tonight. Got my level beer. <laughs> nice. Got my level beer. Is it cold? <laughs> Very nice. Is it cold? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> so I, uh, I got my other one here too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I want to cheers you on that one too. Yep. Um, so a nice, a cool thing uh, Gak did for me is um, I sent Gak a uh, one of those beers, and he, with that same package, he put one of his favorite beers inside and then sent it back to me. Awesome. So now we're gonna be like this beer club thing, and I, I don't know if I'm gonna use that same <laughs> box because that ship of that box is expensive. But it was, uh, it was, it was, it's, it's a cool little beer club. So if you have the option to share a beer club with somebody, I, I think it's a great idea if you guys are, are beer aficionados. So thank you, Mr. Gack, for that. Absolutely. Um, Cheers, and, everyone. On that question, really quick, before we yeah. do another cheers, um, a question last week what, when you were growing up, what was the name of the arcade you remember playing games in? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> the one I played at the most. Uh, it was my teenage years, and it was in Citrus Heights, California, <clears throat> probably about a 15-minute drive from where I live now. Um, there was an area called Sunrise Mall, <clears throat> and across the street from there was uh, the Birdcage Walk, is what they called it. So inside the Birdcage Walk, the arcade was called The Game Room. It was just The Game Room. <laughs> and it was like the logo said The Game Room like three times. And then uh, the final question that we had... Uh was a great question uh how many games in your personal collection so i just counted that the other day so uh do if we count my red tent as two games right <laughs> i have uh exactly 40 machines right now 40 games yeah <laughs> now actually working probably half that <laughs> so lots of projects this is the beer that uh that Chris Gack sent me. I'm like sorry, that. I'm not going to be drinking those uh, Donkey Kong beers because I already had my fill of those. But, uh, geez, oh, Pete's this background thing. <laughs> you see it better You're glitching, online. You're glitching man. There we go. Wow. Yeah, Chris has got it. Cloud World. It's got like a little cloud guy with like some Mario Brothers cartoony tube things. It's uh, it's a hazy IPA um, from uh lincoln california and it's seven percent and uh where is lincoln california, lincoln, california? so <clears throat> it's the next neighboring town from rockland where i'm at it's nice. like five miles from where i'm at i can be at that brewery <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you guys don't already go to youtube follow gack attack uh, crafts with gack also instagram follow gack um gack what's your final word uh, cheers. Enjoy your beers or whatever <laughs> beverage you like and uh, play some games. Awesome. You say Laura. GAC. Is that G-A-C? G-A-C-K. Yeah, G-A-C-K. Okay. And, and your Instagram is uh, Crafts with GAC? Or? It, it's uh, GAC Attack underscore Arcade. There you go. What it, so your oh. your YouTube is GAC Attack? It, my YouTube is Arts and Craft with GAC. Okay. Right. I pair up beers and games, basically. Yeah, it's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> Laura, uh, Jacob words? was on with me uh, at Grinkfest last year. We did a pairing. That was awesome. Yeah. Yep, for sure. 
<laughs> Laura. All right, woohoo! Take care. Cheers. All right. Well, I don't know how this is gonna come out or not, but um, did a little live feed with the uh, Kong Club with uh, some beer that um, Jacob from the Kong Club sent me. It's uh, made by a Level Beer called Five Pound Hammer, and uh, awesome stuff. I already drank it, and I'm on, on to my next one, which is. Uh, Cloud World Hazy IPA by Slice out of Lincoln, local to me. So awesome stuff. Um, Jacob, thank you for this. It was awesome. Love hanging out with you guys. I wish I had more time. <laughs> so <coughs> play some Donkey Kong, drink some beers, hang out. So, all right. Well, there we go. A quick little, uh, I'll try to edit this down probably. And because that was uh, almost two hours worth of video. So. All right, cheers everyone. Woohoo! Okay, with this being a special edition Kong Club meetup, I've got to uh, at least play one game of Donkey Kong, right? So <clears throat> tonight we shared um, one, or sorry, tonight we shared five pound hammer by Level Beer. See if this wants to focus better here. There we go. So five pound hammer by a level beer. Um, they're out of Portland, Oregon, up there by where uh, Jacob from uh, Con Club's at. It's a hazy uh, India pale ale. Let's see here, drink with balance. Does it say the alcohol? There we go. So 7% alcohol. Um, they even rate the hoppy level, malty level, bitter, sour. So yeah, it was definitely very good, well balanced. Um, there was not much on the aroma in my opinion, but um, still excellent. You can kind of barely make out the, uh, the platform levels there on Donkey Kong. Oh, screen's upside down. Not good. We're going to have to reset this. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so five pound hammer by level beer. Let me see if I can get my settings correct here on the game. I think I press and hold the jump button one, four seconds. So Donkey Kong Remix. I'm just gonna play regular Donkey Kong. So that's deranged edition. Uh, it's not wanting to focus here, there we go. And there's regular Donkey Kong. So I'm going to try to set it to where it focuses on this. Um, let's see here. There's a little bit of a uh, glitch here going on. I don't know. That's all right. There we go. So see the gameplay should be fine. So again, we have a level beer, five pound hammer. And we're going to pair that up with a uh, meetup, a... Uh, Zoom meetup on a Saturday night with the Kong Club hosted by uh, Jacob up there out of Portland, Oregon. So, um, and then I did actually crack this open too. So maybe we'll call this a, a two in one. Uh, this is what he drank up on his end. I sent this up to him. Cloud World Hazy IPA by Slice out of Lincoln. Um, Donkey Kong theme. Well, not Donkey Kong, actually Mario Brothers, which is based on Donkey Kong with Mario. Um, or Super Mario Brothers, right? So, all right, let's go ahead and jump into the game. I'm gonna take a swig of the beer. <sighs> okay, um, I haven't really played this in uh, very long. My arm is at a little bit of an awkward angle, so I don't bump into the camera. Hopefully I don't, but <clears throat> um, on a good game I can get over 100,000, maybe upwards of 120,000 is my best game ever. So let's let's see what happens. 
I mean, if I don't get at least like 50 or 60,000 on this first round, uh, I may have to try it again. <coughs> I should be able to beat that high score. <coughs> I don't point press or anything. I just try to get through the levels. I mean, I'll, I'll have a few things where I'll get the hammer and get a few extra points here. But I don't do the thing where I'm sitting there constantly jumping over stuff to point press or whatever. I'm not that level of player. <laughs> <coughs> Woo! All right, on the next level. And I don't think they normally do this, grab that thing, the point or the uh, world record level players, but I like to do it, so I'm not going to get a world record. I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, seriously? Oh, of course. So... This is the one where, do I want to try to get a few extra points maybe? We'll see. They all ran away. Got one, two. I'll take it. Woo! I made it. Woo! I was for sure I was dead there twice. I'll take it. Nice. <laughs> I prefer to rifle through that level, the last one. Anybody else want a hammer? <laughs> you know, like a five pound hammer. All right, clear the level out. Well, this can turn bad really fast, but I'm doing pretty good so far. I like it. Oh, and of course, oh, on something silly. 
Oof. That was stupid. Oh, come on. Okay, not too bad. That was a stupid loss of life earlier, but it happens. That's Donkey Kong for you. <clears throat> oh no. Oh! Can you believe that? What? What? Ah, <laughs> oh, that was awful. So really, you just have to get up to the top there and touch it, which is that I feel like that's wrong. That's like a design flaw, like they kind of didn't dial it in as well as they could have, but that's part of the game. Oh no, see, it's like, Every other one, every third one will get you like that. And I never pay attention to it. Oh my gosh. Look at that, look at that score. I'm 100 points shy of the high score. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh. Well, we gotta, we gotta beat that, right? Brutal. Brutal, I tell you. Okay, doubling up here. Uh, level beer and cloud world. Give me the powers to beat that 45,400. I mean, on a good game, I can get over 50,000 on my first life. For me, you know, at my level of playing. But. Is <clears throat> that worth it? Get a couple extra jumps in there. Oh, no, it wasn't. Look at that. Stupid barrel took me out. 700 points on the first life. Not good. Yeah, that's usually what I try to do, just push it. Kind of try to get up to the top as fast as I can. Oh, are you kidding me? I got stuck on the stupid ladder. Now I'm pissed off, so I think it's time to jump in the barrel here. That's the quickest way to uh, throw in the towel. <laughs> All right. Look at that. One or two plop. Plop. couple of minor graphic glitches. I don't know what's going on. 
I haven't actually played this in a while, to be honest. Probably at least six months, maybe even close to a year. Okay, come on. So I think point pressing, they, they'll kind of jump those barrels there right by the ladder. And you can get just a little bit more points than what the timer is counting down at. So say, I don't know, 500-ish points per level, maybe you can do that on that. But the point pressers, world record guys, they gotta do it. Made it through the level anyways, right? That's some delicious beer right there. Mm, good stuff. Not bad. 17-2. Oh. That was not good. get this last one or not? Nope. Any other fireballs want to step up? Get hammered? There's one. Two. Come on. Oh, no. Okay. Such a classic though. The artwork, the sounds, the gameplay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, not too bad. But 37.5. Yes. Nice. I'll take it. All right, I'm 200 points away. Woo, that was close. Yes. There we go. Now we're in the money. Broke 50,000. Oh, come on, fireballs. What's up with that? We got two of them up there now. Yes. Luckily, I got them both down there. Woo! Nice. See, now in a good game, usually I will get this to where I'm at on the first life, but it's second life this time. But again, I haven't played in a while, so that's my excuse. <laughs> Stinking barrels. Get you every time. <laughs> oh, no. No. I, I know there's a trick to that, too. I think it's like if you face the ladder, it'll go past it or the other way around, something like that. Whatever it was, I did it wrong, obviously. Whoa. All right, last life hanging on with a hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Yes. Woo! All right. Now what kind of craziness?
Oh, that was close. Whew. Nice. 86. Oh, this level's gonna be brutal. It's got the double springs. No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, well, we'll take it. Okay, so there we have it. We did a little pairing with the uh, five pound hammer by Level Beer and topped it off with a little Cloud World Hazy IPA by Slice out of Lincoln. Um, Level Beer is out of Portland, Oregon, by the way. My buddy uh, Jacob from the Kong Club sent this to me and I sent him Cloud World by Slice, kind of both Donkey Kong, Mario themed and uh, so tonight we did a little uh, Zoom hangout on Facebook. Uh, there was maybe 15, 20 of us on there <clears throat> from all over the country. Not sure if around the world yet, but uh, it's, they're working on it. <laughs> so, uh, and then I played a little bit of Donkey Kong. Got a little bit of graphic glitches here going on right now. I don't know what's going on. It says Donkey Cons. <laughs> all right. so. I scored 86,300. Not a bad game. So uh, there we have it. So uh, paired up a little bit of uh, level beer, five pound hammer, and some Cloud World by Slice with some Donkey Kong and the Kong Club Hangout on Facebook. Why not? Right? Saturday night. Good time. So all right. Cheers, everyone. Woo!